In this video, I want to show you how you can turn your slicers from this style into this style using the tile slicer in Power BI. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step so you can follow along and do it for yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's jump in. So I'm sure you've seen this type of slicer before where instead of the typical slicer that you get with tick boxes, you're able to select a category here and it will give you an accent bar and it will highlight that selection. Previously, if you wanted to have this effect using the accent bars and kind of this interaction uh, with the bar at the bottom, you needed to use the bookmark navigator, which if you've seen and worked with it before, it's a little bit cumbersome. And that's because with the bookmarks navigator, you need to manage different bookmarks to turn off or on, depending on which category you have selected here. It's also not dynamic. So it means that if you have more slicer options that you want to add in the future, you'd need to manage these bookmarks one by one, which can be a lot of work for what the feature actually is. So today I want to show you how you can create this using the tile slicer, which I believe was known as the button slicer before. And I want to show you how you can create this as simple as possible. So to start with, let's go to our slicer here with just the uh, three categories that I've pre-selected here from our list of categories just to show you how uh, the three categories would look like in this kind of tile slicer. And then we'll make sure the tile slicer is selected on the build pane on the right hand side. We'll just give this a bit more space so that we can see the whole text. Just resize them a bit. And then under the visual or the format pane here, under the title, let's adjust the title here. So let's just say select a product category. We'll change the font to Arial and just make it a little bit smaller. We'll also center it here like this. Then we'll add a divider. Just uh, make it a little bit faint so that it's not too overpowering like this. Next thing is uh, we want to go to the slicer settings and we'll, I want to keep this in single select and for selection just so that there's always one category selected. Th this option is not necessary. And in fact, a lot of the options that I will show you in terms of customization is not strictly necessary. So if you want, for example, multi-select multi or you might not want one for selection, those should work with this solution as well. So the next thing is under layout, we'll change the arrangement from grid to a single row. And that just allows us to have a max, max button shown to be auto. So that means when you add new categories later uh, or in the future, it will just readjust and uh, create those uh, new columns automatically, resizing all the buttons. Uh, based on the size of your visual. So if we add like, let's say dairy products, you'll see that there's another button there for the dairy products and how it's showing is, is based off of how big the visual gets. But we'll disable that for now. From here, you can adjust also the space between buttons, uh, which is a default at eight pixels. We'll set this to zero, but again, this is also optional. If you wanted to have uh, some spacing in between your buttons, you can just leave that to eight. Under the callout values, we need to adjust a few things. So first of all, we just need to make sure that the state is in default. We'll adjust the text to be uh, aerial. We'll make sure that it's uh, horizontally aligned to the middle. And I believe we'll just need to adjust the states of the text itself when it's selected, because at the moment, by default, it turns the color of the font to white. We want to actually keep that to black uh, because we don't want, we're not using the uh, background color uh, in our selected option for later. Um, we're also going to set the, uh, the font to be bold. Just make sure that's uh, only for the selected state. The next thing that we're going to go to is under the buttons here, we need to adjust a few things. So we need to disable the borders. We need to disable the fills and we'll need to enable the accent bar. So the accent bar is on default on the left. We'll need to set that up to be at the bottom. Just make it a little bit thicker and because this is the default state, we want to make sure that this is the deselected state, which means that the color 
of this accent bar needs to be a little bit lighter and we'll need to change that to be darker on the selected state so if we select here change the color of this to be darker that's it so if that's a bit too far from your text just adjust the size of the uh, visual accordingly and that's really it so that was super easy and not very painful right and the best thing about this solution is that if you need to add new categories in the future like i showed you before all you need to do is just add it in uh, in the table or the column that you're using like let's say for example we, we add seafood there and as you can see it just adds that uh, new selection there without needing to play around with the formatting settings or the navigator panes it's all built in this one tile visual. This is another great option for Power BI developers that wants to customize their reports using built-in tools, which I personally prefer to use instead of you know, relying on custom tricks or kind of visual bugs because it makes maintaining my reports a lot easier. And that's really it for this video. If you like this type of videos and you'd like me to make more of these, let me know in the comment section box below. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.